hello out there welcome to this tutorial on permutation and combination in this video we'll be looking at conditional combination so we have our problem here in a social club consisting of 10 women and eight men an executive committee comprising of three women and four men is to be formed how many ways can this be done if a anyone can be a member of the committee B. A particular woman must be a member of the committee. And C. A particular man must not be a member of the committee. Uh, for A, B, and C, you will see that A does not have any condition attached to it. So, out of the 10 women, all of them are eligible to be a member of the committee. As well as out of the 8 men, all of them are eligible to be a member of the committee. But for B, a particular woman must be a member of the committee is a condition. So that one is a conditional combination. As well as C, a particular man must not be a member of the committee. It is also a conditional combination. Therefore, we start the solution from A. We said no condition is attached to A. As a result of that, we select three women from ten women and then four men from eight men. Bringing in the combination for the first part, we have 10 combination three, then multiply by eight combination four. So we expand, this is equal to 10 factorial over 10 minus three factorial times three factorial, multiplying eight factorial over eight minus four factorial times four factorial, simplifying further, we have 10 factorial over 7 factorial, 10 minus 3 is 7, then times 3 factorial, multiply by 8 over 4 factorial, 8 minus 4 is 4, then multiply by 4 factorial. Imputing this in our calculator, we have 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 3 factorial, Multiplying 8 factorial over 4 factorial times 4 factorial, that gives 8,400. So we have 8,400 ways of selecting 3 women from 10 women and selecting 4 men from 8 men without any condition. That means everyone is eligible to be a member of the committee. Then we go to problem B. For B, a particular woman must be a member of the committee, which means we are going to select one particular woman as a member of the committee, which means at that point, they will be left with nine women. And from these nine women, we'll only be selecting two from them. Okay? Because we have already gotten a member of the committee out of the three they are looking for. We've got in one so we are now looking for two that two now will now be chosen from nine we said there is only one way of selecting a woman that must be in the committee we then select two from the remaining nine women and then select four from eight men creating the formula for the combination we have nine combination two multiply by eight combination four so expanding this, we have 9 factorial over 9 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial multiplied by 8 factorial over 8 minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. Simplifying this further, we have 9 factorial over 7 factorial. Since 9 minus 2 is 7, then multiply by these 2 factorial. Then multiply by 8 factorial, divide by 4 factorial times 4 factorial. Imputing this in our calculator, 9 factorial dividing 7 factorial and 2 factorial, then also multiplying 8 factorial dividing it by 4 factorial and 4 factorial, we have 2,520, which means we have 2,520 ways of forming a committee from 10 women and 8 men comprising of three women and four men if a particular woman must be a member of the committee. So that's that for problem B. 
we then go to problem C. For problem C, a particular man must not be a member of the committee. If a particular man must not be a member of the committee, which means the men we now reduce to seven. We are only selecting the executive from seven men, but we still select four men from seven men. But for the women, we still maintain 10 and three. So we say men will be less by one. So we now select three women from 10 women and then four men from the remaining seven men. So creating the combination here, we have 10 combination three, then multiply by seven combination four. Okay, this is going to give us 10 factorial over 10 minus three factorial times three factorial multiplying by 7 factorial over 7 minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. So expanding this, 10 factorial over 7 factorial times 3 factorial, multiplied by 7 factorial over 3 factorial times 4 factorial. When putting this in our calculator, 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial and 3 factorial times 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial and 4 factorial, we have 4,200. So we have 4,200 ways of forming a committee from 10 women and 8 men, comprising 3 women and 4 men, if a particular man must not be a member of the committee. And that's all for the solution of this problem. And this is the end of the solution to the entire problem. And this is where we are drawing the end to this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Also remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the problems on permutation and combination. Until we come your way again, goodbye.